So for the first question, I identified the total ratio by taking 7 plus 8, which results in 15. So 240 times 7 over 15, you get the results as 112. Question 2, a prime numbers. Okay, among all these numbers here, only 211 will qualify as a prime numbers. And for cube numbers, it will be 6 cube, which is 216. Question 3, a simultaneous equation. For this particular question, I'm using the elimination method where I took 1 minus 2. So the difference will get you 2y equals to 10, y equals to 5. So substitute y equals to 5 into 1, you will get your x results as negative 3. As for question 4, first thing that I did was to change 27 into 3 to the power of 3 and 8 into 2 to the power of 3. Then only I multiply the power of negative 4 over 3 into it. Then you will get the results of 3 to the power of negative 4 over 2 to the power of negative 4. And to get rid of the negative, I basically swap them. Okay, from the numerator become denominator and from denominator become numerator. So the final results will get you 16 over 81. Question 5, write it in standard form, so 128,000, okay, I shift it to the right, to the left hand side by 5 times, hence the result should be 1.28 times 10 to the power of 5. So in section B, the key information actually hidden in the first sentence, corrected to nearest thousand. So you take 1,000 divided by 2, you will get plus minus 500. So for you to get the upper bound, simply takes 128,000 plus 500, you will get your results as 128,500. For question 6, pretty straightforward as they mentioned compound interest and they want you to calculate the total amount. Okay, so just take 800 times 105% to the power of 2, you get your results as 882. Question 7, so I get rid of the negative in the power section by shifting it down into the denominator. So you will get 1 over 9 plus 1 over 4 make their denominator into 36, you will get your results as 13 over 36, as requested by the question. Question 4 here, question 8, pretty straightforward, just key it in, into your calculator and correct it into 3 significant figures, you will get your results as 0.186 For question 9, find the difference between the highest and the lowest temperature The highest here is actually 2 celsius, the lowest is negative 3 So the difference between the temperature is actually 5 celsius Okay, so for section B, find the total mean of the temperature so total temperature by adding everything up you get negative 5 total recording here is actually 7 so divide them up you get your mean temperature as negative 0.714 question 10 okay so take 8 times 115 percent you will get it as 9.2 hours Okay, so since they want you to represent the answer in hours and minutes, the 0.2 there, you're required to convert it back to minutes. 
So 0 0.2 times 60 minutes will get you 12 minutes. Question 11. Okay, so I first extracted x from both of the variables. You will have a balance of 8p squared minus 4q squared. I then convert the arrangement inside the bracket into p squared minus bracket 2q bracket squared. With that being done, okay, we are now using a squared minus b squared formula. You will get your results as x bracket p plus 2q p minus 2q. Question 12. Okay, so the final answer that they want is how much he has left in pesos. So first thing that I did was to take my ARS, convert it into dollar. So I spent 150 of it. So I minus 150 out of it. Then multiply it back into pesos. So my final results will actually be 220. Five after correcting it to three significant figures. Question 13. Okay, so the end of its race. So this is your new results. So original times 98% will get you 67.13. After the rearrangement, you should get your answer as 68.5. Question 14. Okay, the one at the numerator will actually be the sphere's volume, and the one at the denominator will actually be the cylinder's volume. So, what I did was to key in all the information I have. Okay, we arrange them and run the calculation. You actually get 4 over 6 times 100, which translates into 66.7%. Question 15. Write P in terms of A, C, and X. So first thing, I shift all the variables with P onto the left-hand side. So I get AP minus PX equals C, extracted P from both of them. You will leave a balance of bracket A minus X equals to C. So I get rid of the A minus X by shifting it to the denominator side. So your final results. P equals to C over A minus X. Question 16. Okay, so keyword here directly. So we will be using Y equals to KX. Our Y here will be replaced with T and our X will be replaced with square root of L. So I first sub in my 6 and 9 into T's and L's position you will get your scale factor k as 2. So your final equation will get you t equals to 2 square root l. As for the next one, t when l equals to 2.25. So just type t equals to 2 square root 2.25. You get your results as Three. Question 17. Alright, so I set the intersection as x. Okay, so we have r only as 13 minus x, f only as 11 minus x. So everything other than r union with f will be 20 minus 17 which is 3 okay so numbers of r intersect with f will actually be 7 and for everything other than r intersect with f will be 4 section b so they narrow down among those who like rub b okay Find a property that the students also love, football. 
So 7 over 13 will be your final results. Question 18, pretty straightforward. I just changed the denominator into the same. So for the first fraction over there, you're required to multiply it with 1 minus 2x as for next one, it will become negative x times 2 plus x. After the rearrangement, you will get your final results as x squared minus bx plus 1. So things to take note is please do not expand the denominator because you are required to leave it and check whether the numerator can be factorized and if there's duplicating variables, it will be automatically cancelled off to get the simplest form. Question 19. Okay, so I first calculated the sector area by taking 50 over 360 times pi times 9 square. Then I'm minusing it off with half AB sine C. So this is a shortcut formula for calculating triangles value. So the final results will actually be 4.32. Question 20, okay, so write down the order of NP, it will be 2 times 2. But for you to calculate PN, the details has been shown over there by taking 1 times 2 and 3 times 6. Add them both up, you get your results of 20. As for section B, always... The first thing you need to do is to find the determinant, okay? So your determinant is actually 2, so M inverse is 1 over determinant bracket, the new rearrangement of the original matrix. So I list down which one represented A, B, C, and D, okay? Fill up the blank, run the rearrangement. You should get your answer as 1 over 2 bracket 4, negative 3, negative 2, and 2. Question 21A, calculate angle ACB. Since we have all of the sides of the triangle already, so I'm using cosine rule to run the reverse calculation and trace it back as 84 degree. With the 84 degree combined with the information of the bearing of A from C is 220, you will get that this 136 here will be the answer of bearing of B from C. Question 22. So give a reason why angle BAX is equal to CDX. Okay, reason being angle from the same segment. BAX can also be written as BAC. So section B, just compare the value accordingly. You will get AB over BX equals to DC over CX. The CX final value will actually be 8.2. And to calculate the area, of the triangle CDX since I'm using the comparison method in mathematically similar topic okay so my area variables is required to be square root square root of 5.41 over 4.4 equals to square root of the area that we are looking for over 9.4 after the rearrangement you will get your final results as 24.7 As for the last part, speed time graph, calculate the acceleration. Okay, so what I did here was to use the gradient formula. So we have 0, 0 and 5, 40. Okay, things to take note is I converted the time from minutes to second. So that I qualify as meters over second square. Okay, so 
answer should be 2 over 15. As for part B, okay, I first calculate the total distance by getting the area of this trapezium shape, which is 30,000 meters. So 30,000 meters over 15 minutes. This 15 minutes here is required to be converted into 900 seconds. Hence your final results, 33, 1 over 3 meters per second. So this is pretty much it for this paper. I hope you find it helpful. If you have friends that are struggling, feel free to share this to them. I wish you all the best in your upcoming examination. Thank you.